Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys simple optimization tweaks to help reduce FPS stutters and get a lot more FPS. So the first thing we're doing is going into the registry editor and we're gonna be disabling the CPU core parking. Its default value is at one, but when you set it at zero, it completely turns it off. So in your registry editor, you guys wanna go into H key local machine, open that file, go under to system, go into current control set, press on control, scroll all the way down to you guys see power file now you guys want to go into this file right here which is 54533251 open that up and lastly you guys want to go into over this file which is 0cc565 b4547 so once you highlight this file you should see attribute the value is at one you guys want to set that as zero which it disables it and make sure you have it on hexadecimal as well and press ok before I continue, I want to let you guys know I finally got a supporter creator code. So if you want to support me, use code KINGWTF. This will go towards all the giveaways on my Discord. We already had a keyboard giveaway end, but we have a lot more bigger things coming. So make sure to join the Discord and use the code. So next up is disabling the power throttling. You can access this by typing in this command over here. It will be in the description. But once you have that up, you should see the power throttling file open. In the reg dword file, you guys want to change the value data from 0 to 1, just like that. And there you go. So the next thing, we're going to go into the performance monitor. So under data collector sets, you guys want to open up that file. And under user define, you guys want to click on new, click data collector set, name it whatever you want. Make sure you have it on create manually, click next. Now under create data logs, you want to click on performance counter, click next. And now you guys want to click on add. You should see it automatically starts off in processor and you guys want to basically just find the highest number and you guys want to add that into the counter and you guys want to click on add. You guys should see it pop up over here. Now next you want to go into process, which is right on top and you guys will see the total tab. You want to add that as well. And just like that, you're done. You guys want to go ahead and click OK, click next, click next. And just like that, you guys want to click finish and you should be set. Now, next up, you guys want to download NVIDIA Profile Inspector. This thing is going to allow us to lower Fortnite's current resolution and its details for you guys to get maximum FPS. But if you're on 1080, it's still going to look really, really good. It's just minor details that you guys are not going to notice but it will affect your performance. So on the top in profiles, you guys wanna make sure to type in Fortnite. All of Fortnite's application files are right here. Scroll all the way down under texture filtering. Make sure to have it on these two values over here. And then under texture filtering quality, make sure to have that on high performance. And then for the rest of these over here, it is optimized for my Fortnite and you guys can find this super easily. I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have the profile inspector file up on my Discord. So make sure to join it, links in the description. And what you guys wanna basically do is click on the top and import user defined profiles. Find the profile inspector file that I'm gonna have on my Discord open that up and just like that you imported all settings for nvidia profile inspector that's all optimized for your game you guys will notice a bit of changes in the quality of fortnite but it's nothing too major where it's completely all pixel but your game's performance should increase and lastly we have msi afterburner which allows us to overclock and specifically for laptops i actually used the setting back when i was on laptop it's 175 on core clock, 235 on memory clock. This thing's actually really, really helpful. The only downside about this is it might overheat a little bit, but your performance will actually be a lot, lot better. Just make sure to have this open with the settings every time you play Fortnite because this thing doesn't open by itself. And I don't think with laptop you can adjust the fans, but you should adjust the fan and the temperature just to cool down your PC and make sure it doesn't overheat. And just like that, once you have those three things enabled, you guys want to make sure to restart your PC. You should see a pretty decent amount of performance increase. Two hundred. That's dope. This guy. 
gonna die. Let's go, finally. Gun's not shooting. What the fuck?